and I'm back. I think I figured it out. I think, I think we're the right way. Okay, give me a second. Okay, hi friends, hi! I'm so excited. All right, let's go. <laughs> How do I go to the place where I can see things? Uh, undo. Undo that. Let's go here. Hmm. Hmm. I just want to know if... Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to see if that fixed, if we're, we're all fixed and you can see me correctly. A puppy lead. You can. You can see me. Okay, hi friends. Hi. Okie dokie. I thought we would make a card. I haven't made a card in a billion years and I thought it's time. It's time to make a card and get crafty and do some things. I haven't even cleaned my craft room to be honest. I'm once again, crafting in a pile, messy, messy pile of things. So we're gonna do the kitten around stamp set. We're just making a cute little card. Um, let's see, I had it somewhere. I don't know. Okay, let's start with cardstock. This is all. I'm doing like a little bit of a monochromatic theme. Um, this is all smoky slate. So smoky slate paper, smoky slate DSP. I got some white. We have a little pop of color, but for the most part, it's um, pretty monochromatic. Okay, so I already have my card folded. This is just regular eight and a half by eleven card stock. I cut it in half, so it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and um, scored halfway at this would be four and a quarter. Scored at four and a quarter. Yeah. Okay, and then I already have my sticker on the back since we will be needing that. All right, we're just gonna fold this in half. We're gonna take our um, bone folder, get a really good, nice score there so it looks beautiful. This will be the back of our card. All right, and we're gonna set these pieces aside. I've got two pieces. These pieces are exactly the same. This is just basic white card stock. Um, they are cut at, what is this? This is, so they're cut at four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that gives us just a little bit of border around and you'll see what I mean. Um, this is all DSP. This is all from the country, country something. I'll have it posted. Um, I can't remember, but it's country something. And again, it's in the smoky slate color family. So we're gonna do two of these. These are cut at five and a quarter by half an inch. So I'm doing two of them, so I'm gonna do them at the same time. So we've got, this is just some um, stamp and seal. We've got one, very sticky. Hello, Miss Ellie. Hello. All right, and two. Okay, and then we're just gonna line this right up on the edge. We're just gonna make it flush all the way over there. That's just one. And then we're gonna make it flush here. We're gonna do them exactly the same things. Let's see, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take one of these and we're gonna put some adhesive on the back. Just like that. And I'm gonna open my card. Make sure that it opens correctly, cause you know, I've done that wrong. Before. Yeah, before. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna center this guy right. Um, I'm gonna look at this corner and that corner, and I'm gonna try to make those as straight as possible, and the rest of it will kind of just fall into place, so like that. And then this extra piece, so I've started this new thing when I make cards. I don't know if it's helpful or not, but here's what I do. I make two inserts, one that I will write on and I'll place it inside and then the card will be beautiful and amazing and then this will be my note. And then my recipient also has a blank card that they can use to, you know, pay it forward. It's like a free card. <laughs> so I do two inserts so that they match. So that's what that is. Okay. And then we're going to take this same DSP from the country whatever suite. 
it's not called country whatever I just don't know the actual name um, we're gonna put that and this is also cut at four by five and a quarter so this is gonna line up perfectly on the front and again I'm just looking at the kitty corners and I'm lining those up so that everything falls kind of catty corner kitty corner I say kitty corner. I know, but what do you mean? <laughs> like this corner to this corner. So they're not across from each other, like side by side. They're catty corner, kitty corner. What a, hmm. Like diagonal. Yeah, diagonal? Yeah, like that. Okay, this is cut at, what is this cut at? This is cut at three and a quarter by four and a half. That one right there. Be so specific, don't you? Well, I just like to let the people know. Okay, we're using the You Are Amazing sentiment right there. And we're putting it on Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I'm kidding around. Nope. Okay, so we're just going to ink this up. And putting her right around here. There we go. Oh, oh, I forgot something. Okay, wait, let's go back here. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to use these little stars. I forgot. I want to use these stars. Okay. So those little stars, again, with the Memento Tuxedo Ink. Memento Ink. Memento. Okay, we're just going to stamp her there. Ah, it has a little bit of a halo there, so it's got to be more gentle. Ah, a little bit of a halo again. It's okay, you guys. This is handmade perfection. Handmade okay. means that it's not going to be perfect. Yeah, no, not really. Okay, and then I am going to be using string, so I'm just going to set it here to give myself like a little, a little bit of a guide. Okay, and then I'm going to take this cute little wizardy dude, take him, and we'll ink him all up. A wizard kid. A wizard kid. Because he looks like a little toddler. He does kind of look like a toddler. Like that. He's having a good old time. And I'm going to put him right there. Alright. Okay. And then, and then we're going to take a couple of different um, markers. I think so. I, well, I might have to pull some more. Okay, so this is Stampin' Write Marker. This is Azure Afternoon. Uh, We're going to use that one. We're also going to be using the... Are you okay, Matt? Yeah. Okay, the Smoky <laughs> Slate. Um, and then, Ellie, could you get me the pecan pie? Pecan. Pecan, pecan. Pecan pie. Okay, so we're using these, I think, are the... Oh, no, lies. I need a pink. Let's use... Um, that pink over there. This pink? Yeah. Pretty in a pretty in pink. Pretty in pink. We're gonna use pretty in pink. Okay, so we're using stamp and write markers. We're using pretty in pink, azure afternoon, um, smoky slate, and pecan, pecan pie. pie. Okay. I do like pecan pie. All right, I'm gonna start with the pecan pie. You don't gotta. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know, it um, like that. And I'm just going to color in. Coloring is always hard for me because I have zero patience. Same. That's probably where I get it from. Probably. Alright. So I colored his little wand and then I'm just going to give like a little outline kind of a Kind hair. of like a trace of his hair. Just so that he's not like covered. Colorless hair. That's I that's guess, not a uh, thing. Because I guess you just have really, really blonde hair. Right. Sorry. Okay, and now getting my pink. I'm going to just do the inside of these little bunny slippers. Oh, I didn't even realize they're bunny slippers. Mm -hmm. got your little bunny. Should I do the inside of his mouth? Yeah. Okay, we'll do the inside of his mouth too. I'd say maybe, a, maybe more red, but that looks like a tongue color. Oh, okay, so then we're using the smoky slate. Smoky. No, is that what it was? Yeah, smoky slate. Okay. I'm gonna say yes, smoky. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna color like this band of his um, hat. Oh, I do not have a pad. Oh, 
Yeah. We're gonna use them in a little bit. Okay, and then I'm just coloring these like I don't know. I think stars. they're supposed to be stars, but they kind of look like flowers to me. Stars, flowers, dot thingies. Yeah. Oh, we just call them star things. Star things. They like bursts. Do you need a yellow for its skin, or do you leave it white? No, I left his skin blank. Oh. He's blank skinned. He's okay. colorless. He is colored. Oh, and I'm gonna do his little bunny slippers too. Mm -hmm. I want them to be blue. Now it looks like and a rabbit bunny. It more looks like a rabbit than a bunny. But rabbit bunnies. Are they the same? I think one just have like different food species it, things. No, I think they're the same. I think bunny. Well, I think I actually know. Bunny is like puppy. They're, so it's like the baby version. You know, a rabbit is like a dog grown up. So what you're telling me is a rabbit is like a mom or sibling or teenager, or a tween. Like an old rabbit. Road. 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 That's all I got to say. Road. I'm just trying to color in patiently and slowly. Because I was about to fall. Really? Yeah. Are you using the thin side or the marker side? The thin side. Because I'm trying to be careful and not ruin mm, my... Who cares, Mother Goose? I care. I care. Did you see what I did there? I did see what you did there. Mother Goose. Yeah. Where is a recreation of your card thing? I don't know. I tried to look by myself. I really hung on it. Um, you know what oh I my god, I drank so much coffee today that my eye is twitching. Cough, coffee, coffee, mm. Alani thingy. No, I had coffee today. I... Oh, because the grandma got you. Yeah, I had the leftover starts. I was so confused. I know, cause... But then you finish your starts so that we can get some tomorrow with oh, Jossie. Yeah. With Jossie. Yeah, I'm excited. That'll be fun. You need this blue thingy? Um, at some point. Let's not play with things, please. I'm going to make a wonderful flower. Out of glue? Yeah, because it like, goes thick and then not thick. Mm. You know? Okay, almost, and done. almost done outlining and then we can fill in really fast. Ugh, coloring is so tedious. Do you guys like coloring? Do you like coloring? Me? Yeah, do you? A little. It depends. Because if I'm just doing it for like funsies, sometimes. You know how like um, some people say coloring is super relaxing? Yeah. And remember I bought those like adult coloring books? Yeah, you want like 50 of them? No, well, not 50. I think I have like three. Yeah, so. but a lot like 50. Anyway. Um, so judgy. I, um,. I bought them because everyone said, like, coloring is so soothing and so relaxing. And I was like, you know, I'll try it. I'm game. I'm an adventurous kind of gal. I'll color. And I, I don't like it. I don't like it. It takes so long. I don't find it soothing or satisfying at all. Because I just... But, Mom, now you... Now my TikTok, my whole TikTok is... New coloring for fun. <laughs> this is, I mean, I'm coloring right now, but this is more. But like, like but like in a coloring book? Yeah. But like, not like, oh, like, let me just draw an outline color. No, like, I'm coloring 50 pages in a book color. Yeah, I don't think I would like that. I don't not, think I have a single coloring page that I finished. I have a bunch that I've started, and then I give up. Same. I think I have. Okay, so needless I, to say, you guys, you don't have to be a colorer to be a card maker. You just need to be a card maker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or just to color little itty weensy bitty things. Yeah. Or, you know, be like me and only make two cards that require coloring. Yeah. Like, this is not a card I would mass produce. This is like a special. Actually, what I don't mass these? produce any cards. Let's be honest. I haven't even crafted in my craft room for like a millennia. Ah, oh, it's a long time. I mean, like a year or two. 
It has been a couple of, oh my gosh, I was going to say, oh, I'm nearly done, and I have a whole pack left. Kitty, kitty. You know what we need to do today, do you think, after this, we can record a free micro challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use your gnome coloring book. A coloring challenge? Oh my god, I just said I don't even like coloring. Okay, okay all done! Oh. Hooray! All done. We're done. So pretty. We finished it. Is it okay. Azur afternoon or Azur? Azur? Azur, I think. I don't know. Okay. Azur. Getting the memento black again. Again. Using the stars again. 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 Again and again and again. Okay, and but again. we're gonna try to be gentle because I don't gentle. like that. Well, I was getting that halo on the when we did it on the inside. So we're gonna put it there. And then we'll rotate it and out and put it. No, I don't need that. Please stop playing with the glue. All right, we are using what is this? This is like a string. No, yes, it's string, but it it has like an official crafty name. The official crafty name is string because I can't find the container. Uh, baker's twine. I think that's what it's called. Oh, hmm. like this kind of? Yeah, it's just thinner. It's cold. All right, we're gonna take this. Is it in a bag real quick? Some scissors. Cut off a little piece. Yeah. And I'm not gonna, um. I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna flip it upside down because my hands are inky and I don't want to get it on stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do this like kind of snuggish and I'm not too worried about placement right now because I'm just trying to make it okay. Make it okay. Oh, your dad's coming down. Can you tell him I'm doing a live before he makes it all the way down and oh says my something? God. Dad. Okay, hold on. Father. Oh. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Father. All right. Like that. Let's see. Is that snug enough? Ugh. Ugh, not really. Ugh. You sound so miserable, Mom. Oh, I'm not miserable. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, we're gonna flip it around this way. We'll just apply a little bit of a cheater method here so that, so that it all works like that. Okay, so cheater method. See how I have, see I have like slack because I didn't do it tight enough, but I don't want to have to, um, can I get some tape out of that drawer? I don't want to have to worry about um, doing it again and doing it tighter. So I'm just going to take like little pieces of scotch tape. Little pieces. Right here. And I'm going to pull it tight on one side. Ah! Pull it tight and tape it down. And then I'm going to pull it tight on the other side and tape it down. And that's just going to get rid of that weird slacky piece. Okay. Now. Wonderful. That is beautiful. Ah, my bow's not even. Man. Oh. Okay, let's see. Is that even-ish? Oh, oh, mama, look. Oh, yeah, Baker's Twine. That's what I told you. I told you it was Baker's Twine. I didn't hear you. Oh, I was being sassy. I don't I don't think I ever told my <laughs> name. Um, I'm just going to pull on this so that they're more even-ish. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna cut these so that's that. Alright. Okay, so now we're gonna do a fancy little technique. I have a brush. It's mm, ink brush, stampin' brush, something cool. And I have smoky slate. And so I'm gonna open my ink. And I am just going to pick up a little bit of ink. And that was a lot. So I'm gonna um I just like wipe like wiped, rubbed off, scrubbed off, brushed off, whatever. You guys, I haven't done this in so long. I don't even know like 
the words that the cool kids are using Wipe. anymore. No, I'm not wiping it. I'm like brushing it. But okay, but see how when I first set it down, it got really dark and I don't want that to happen on my actual project. So I'm doing it on my... An airbrush look. Yeah, it is kind of an airbrush look. And I'm just doing it over the stars. I'm not gonna do it anywhere else, just like that. Ta da! There we go. All done. Okay, there's that. And see, look what a cute little detail that is. Huh, love it. Okay, we are going to flip this over and apply some dimensionals. I'm really generous with dimensionals. I'm overly generous. But, okay. So I'm putting that six. I think I'm gonna end up doing eight because I want two there like that. All right. Extra stickable. Um, these are always hard to take off. removing the backing. You okay, Ryan? Okay, right here. Okay, so I took all of those off and then I'm going to center this guy. And again, I'm just looking at this corner and that corner and I'm kind of using them to gauge where this drops at go right there just like that and now it has like a little bit of dimension when we are looking at it in real life okay so next step is um wink of stella and i'm just gonna do wink of stella on um wherever i did gray so on the little band on these little bursts what does that do um i'll show you and then i'm gonna put them on the rabbit slippers Oh. Yeah, and then I'm gonna kind of go crazy and put it all over where we airbrushed here. So that it looks like this creates like a cloud of shimmer, not just a cloud of grayness. Yeah. And I'm being very generous with the wink of Stella on the cloud. I want it to be like shimmer shimmery. All right, that's that. Last step is rhinestone basic jewels. I'm gonna use my stabber tool. It's not an official name, y'all. Um, and I'm just gonna put some um, some jewels up in the mix of all of this really cool magic he's got going on. Okay, I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but he's nice and shimmery. And see my inky hands, eh, oh well. It's handmade perfection. There's my card, that's it. Super simple, super cute. And then I'll write on this and then whoever gets my card will have a card to pay it forward, pass on, use cards. That's all friends, thank you. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you later, bye.